If f of x is x cubed ax squared plus bx minus 3, when f of x is divided by x minus 1 and x plus 1, the remainders are 1 and minus 9 respectively. Find the values of a and b. So basically we've got to use this information to find the value of this coefficient here and this coefficient here. So if we write down our polynomial f of x x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 3, if we now use the remainder theorem, so when divided by x minus 1, that means that f of 1, if we put 1 in here, we will get an answer of 1 by what's known as the remainder theorem. So if we now substitute 1 in here, so we're going to get 1 cubed, a times 1 squared, plus b times 1, minus 3, and the answer to that has to be equal to 1. So we can make an equation here now in a and b. So it's going to give me a plus b, 1 minus 3 gives me minus 2 is equal to 1, and that a plus b is equal to 3. We'll call that equation 1. Then we use the other bit of information, x plus 1, the remainder will be minus 9. That will imply that f of minus 1 will be equal to minus 9. So now substituting minus 1 in here instead of x, we're going to get f of minus 1 is going to be minus 1 cubed plus a times minus 1 squared plus b times minus 1 minus 3 is equal to minus 9. Be careful when we're cubing here, because when you cube a negative number, you get a negative number. When you square a negative number, it becomes positive, so we're going to get plus a there. Here we're going to have minus b. Minus 3 is equal to minus 9. And then we're going to have a minus b, minus 1, and minus 3 is minus 4. And therefore, a minus b is equal to minus 5, if we add 4 to this side. And we've got equations 1 and 2. We can solve this simply by adding... So solving simultaneous equations, 1 plus 2 will give me a plus a, which is 2a, and b minus b, which will give me nothing, and 3 minus 5 will give me minus 2, which means that a is minus 1. We now substitute that into there. So substitute into equation 1, we're going to get minus 1 plus b is equal to 3, which gives me b is 4. So we're going to have a is minus 1 and b is 4. If we were asked for what the actual polynomial would be, it would be x cubed minus x squared plus 4x minus 3. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to find coefficients of a polyno polynomial using the remainder theorem. I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching.